do Scorpio, Scorpio, Sun, Moon, and Ascendant. And if you have lots of Scorpio uh, aspects, please listen up. This is for August, and this is for you. Here we go. Scorpio's in the room. How many Scorpios do we have in the room? Oh, I know I attract Scorpios because Scorpio is my moon sign. I like being a Scorpio. How many of you love a Scorpio? How many of you know a Scorpio that you really care about? All right, Scorpio, here we go. This is for you. Well, <laughs> Scorpio, you are a fickle soul. Fickle, fickle, fickle. And what do I mean by that? You have lots of things that you, you're a really good person, but you're, you're hard to get along with sometimes because you like things a certain way and you don't mind telling people it. You don't mind at all. But sometimes that hurts. I guess I have a Scorpio moon and I get told a lot that sometimes I say things that are really surprisingly harsh. I'm not meaning to be harsh. I just mean to tell the truth. And that's a Scorpio energy. They just tell the truth. They just say what they think. People misunderstand us Scorpio vibes. And that's because they, you know, people aren't prepared for truth. They want you to smooth talk them. They want you to soft coat things. And and this is this is not Scorpio vibration. No, no, no. This is not a Scorpio. So unfortunately, I think you've been a little bit hard on your loved ones this month, last month. And this month might be a little bit difficult. Yeah, they, uh, Scorpios have a difficulty um, hiding how they feel and saying things with sugarcoat. They don't, it's not that they don't have a filter, although I, as they get older, they may not. Um, but it's more because they're just more engaged, more interested in engaging with truth and truth speaking. That's the truth. That's who, who they are. And also, I think that the Scorpio has an impact on other people in a way that many don't impact. So if somebody's stuck, let's say somebody's really stuck in some dark energy, it's going to take a, co a Scorpio's poke to get it moving and get it out. So if anything, a Scorpio may be abrasive in the way they say things, too truthful, um, and people may not like it, but it's the most important energy there is because once the issue comes to a surface, you can live more authentically. So as far as I'm concerned, Scorpio's are needed for that reason because most people will sugarcoat shit. You know, they just want to be friends. Scorpio don't care if you like them at the end of the day, to be honest with you. And I love the Scorpio vibe. And that's what I love about them. So I'm going to hear the truth from them. I'm not going to hear it from someone else. I'm going to get the information from the source. That's authentic. That's what I'm looking for. And I'd say most of the world's not looking for that. Instead, they're looking for the sugarcoaters, right? So Scorpio, I think you're going to run into a Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn, certainly someone who's business orientated, and they're going to be very important um, to you in the next coming months. They may help to reveal the people that are not working in the workplace properly, okay? Uh, they may help to reveal um, what needs to be done for the workplace to work more efficiently. Um, that's for sure. Um, there will be a lot of opportunity for you to enjoy, to engage in fun, loving experiences, drinking, dining, dancing, swimming, vacationing, all of these things. This is a great month for you to be able to get out. Now, you may have had a recent car issue. I wouldn't worry too, too much about the car issue. Um, Get on the bus. Don't worry about it. Let somebody else drive for a little while. I wouldn't worry too much about it. If you Let's say you put an application in for something and you're trying to get somewhere, get into a school or college or university, you might not get in on the first round or the first place that you applied for. So don't be surprised if you have to get back to the drawing board and start over. It's okay. Do it anyways. Don't let it bother you that you have to do that, all right? Just go ahead and do that, Scorpio. Um, there might be some issues with some cash or cash flow or some money that's supposed to be coming in and you're going to have to put the nose to the grind to get that uh, situation cleared and free. So as I said about love, share difficult information with the ones that we love in ways that the ones that we love don't like. That you might want to check in on so you don't hurt feelings unexpectedly. And as far as how you're feeling... 
I'm going to say you got some throat issues maybe going on. Uh, maybe you're not. Um, and it could be from, it could literally be from sharing things too harshly. So check in with that. All right. Uh, it could also be that you've got either a strep throat issue or you know, uh, allergies, uh, sinus issues, phlegm, that kind of a thing going on. Um, and maybe you catch a cold. Maybe you're going to catch something or, or, uh, you're going to have a buildup of some sort of allergy related issue. So be mindful of that. And, um, I think just hearing this conversation that I have had with you about how Scorpio is will help the Scorpio be just a little nicer and a little softer this